level. They're looking for a federal ban. On one hand, I feel lucky to be in California uh, where the federal protection isn't really needed um, for abortion rights. On the other hand, it still feels uh, very disheartening and I feel very disrespected that basically in the eyes of the Supreme Court, uh, people, women and anybody with a uterus, anybody who has the ability to become pregnant is basically an incubator in the eyes of the Supreme Court. I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling overwhelmed, but I'm also feeling ready to stand up and fight back. And the reason that I feel that way is because I know that women's bodies have always been under attack. This isn't something that's new as a black immigrant woman. I know that in the 1800s, when black women wanted to have abortions in this country, that it was actually considered to be a property crime. This actually isn't a 2022 decision. We know that with this new ban, that it won't stop abortions. It'll just make abortions become more unsafe, right? So women will continue to have them, but their access to legal abortions will be under attack. I'm originally from the Midwest, and um, my friends and that are in the Midwest, uh, in Ohio, are, you know, obviously even more triggered than here because now it's going to be really hard for them. And they're people that have already had abortions and, you know, then all of it comes into play. I mean, I'd like to know what women are supposed to do now because obviously it's already taken effect, especially in like the South and the very poor states. It's already the clinics have already started to stop. So, I mean, in some of all of the triggered states, it's like already, there's not a, there's not a, it's already now, it's already happening. Um, I think it's just a part of the Republican conservative agenda. I think obviously the, with the gun law being passed the same day, like it's, it's obviously not a coincidence. The majority do not want this to happen, but our country is built on a minority rule and this is some of the problems that come because of that. Nobody wants this to happen. As someone who grew up in the Bible Belt, my first answer is because a small minority of people have wanted this for many years. But it is so much more complicated than that and so much more scary than that. Because I do think it's money for a lot of people. I think it's power for a lot of people. So, yeah, the reasons why are the worst reasons.